Haiku, motherfucker! What's up? It's kind of echoey in here. Wow. Uh, this is your friendly neighborhood, but your Satanus. What's up? Um, got a contest that I'm going to get to in just a minute. And, um, yeah, the winner will get a free PDF of, get that over there, my latest book, The Chalt Experience, Designing Worlds Like a Fucking Boss. But as I said, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, first, I was watching um, the Michael Knowles podcast. Uh, I think it was just yesterday. And he talked about... Um, he was talking about the, the new portrait, the new, uh, yeah, portrait of King Charles. And he talked about modernity. And, um, that reminded me, there was a guy on Facebook who I, you know, I put up the, um, the little digital flyer for VengeCon 3, Revenge of the OSR. And on there, it said, reject modernity, embrace tradition, which is a you know popular meme that you guys have probably heard before. And in that Facebook comment, this guy tried to get me to uh, explain what I meant by that. And so, you know, I talked about old school versus new school and whatever, and he, was, he kept prompting me or... or nudging me. I think he wanted me to get political. So maybe my post would get taken down or I'd get banned off yet another social media group. Um, I, I refuse to make it political, uh, but I didn't have like a great definition. Um, but then Michael Knowles was quoting someone else. Um, I think a French philosopher. Anyway, uh, how, that was defined uh, was neglect of the sacred. And I thought that was very appropriate and, uh, and kind of awesome and just sort of sums it up rather neatly. So when it comes to my work and when it comes to the OSR and Benjicon and the things I do and the avenues of the hobby I pursue and want to celebrate and boost um it's by and large anti-modernity um i don't want to neglect the sacred i want to revisit the sacred and open up that door that gateway uh to get back to you know a more traditional time when we valued things other than our own ego or our own, you know, base pleasures and, you know, addictions, garbage, whatever else. So, okay, that's out of the way. Um, and also comment down below if you think, um, if you think that's good, um, a good definition um, for modernity, neglect of the sacred. Um, or if you have a better one, you know, comment that. Okay, anyway, now to the real thing. Uh, yes, a contest to win the Chalt Experience. Designing worlds like a fucking boss. Uh, the PDF went live on Drive Through RPG not too long ago. And uh, business has been good. Sales have been awesome. And I'm excited to show the PDF to more people, get more people enthused and excited and, and reading it and hopefully talking about it on social media and really thinking about it and engaging with the ideas and using them to help yourself because that's what it's for. It's, you know, a tool so you guys can help yourself. And so here's the contest. I came up with, um, and this is very apropos of the book itself. And that is to come up with a haiku. That's H A apostrophe A I K U. I'm making a video. And never a dull moment. And but a Chaltian haiku is four syllables, three syllables, seven syllables. And 
so that's something that I talk about in the Jolt experience is taking something that exists and tweaking it to make it your own and then taking that concept, that new, slightly new concept and servicing it with whatever you're trying to do, whatever aesthetic, whatever vibe, um, whatever foundation you want to match. Um, so yeah, so write me a haiku, a Chaltian haiku, uh, with syllables four, three, seven, and the winner, uh, which will be announced on Sunday. Uh, I've already asked the guys, haven't heard back, but I think, I think they'll be cool with it. Um, I'll let you know if, things, if something changes. Uh, I will announce the winner on this upcoming show of Inappropriate Characters. Uh, we're no longer on YouTube. Now we're going to be on Rumble and X or Twitter. Um, so yeah, I'll announce the winner. And so yeah, write the best uh, Chultian haiku. And the winner will win a free PDF of uh, the Salt experience, designing worlds like a fucking boss. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, gives everybody a chance to um, to win it before you can buy it. And uh, yeah, announcing the, the winner on um, inappropriate characters, unless something goes weird or the, the other guys are like, no, fuck you. Uh, which is also possible. <laughs> Pundit wrote the foreword um, to the book, which I very much appreciate. And if you've read it, um, then you'll know there's never been a foreword like this uh, in the history of books that I'm aware of. Uh, so yeah, 437, uh, that's the Chultian Haiku. And uh, I would love to, uh, to see your stuff. Where can you submit it? Well, you can always email me, venger.satanus at yahoo.com. Or you could comment below on the video. Take the easy route. <laughs> um, or I'll probably put uh, a blog post up too at some point uh, later today. And you can also comment there. So that's it. Submit it sometime between now and Sunday afternoon, and then I'll read the winner um, and present his PDF or her PDF uh, at that time on inappropriate characters. And um, I think that's it. Now, if you're asking what should the haiku be about, well, it should be Chult related. It should be based somehow in the, the Chult mythos and um other than that and the the whole syllable thing i think that's all there is to it so i'm looking forward to uh to receiving your submissions and reading through them um i'll probably post the winner somewhere um and if if they're cool with it you know maybe it'll be included in the next uh the next book or the next chult thing that comes out uh, I'll give credit where credit's due, of course. So yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Please spread this video far and wide. I want as many people participating as possible. I want uh, a lot of exposure for the book. <laughs> because, um, yeah, I'm very proud of it. I think it, it came out fantastic. Um, the tools, the artwork, um, the blood, sweat, and zoth that I poured into uh, into, into the writing and, um, you know, it's for you guys. It's, it's to help you. I always learn something when I write one of these books, you know, whether it's game mastering or being a player or, you know, something about campaigns or whatever. I always try to learn and I always end up do learning something. So I learned a lot writing this book and it's made my process of, campaign setting creation and world design like even more fantastic if that's possible so yes um so yeah share on social media if you would thanks